we have kind of a fairly uniform pattern here, about 75 to 80 degrees across a lot of central Virginia. Here's Debbie, though, made landfall around 2 a.m. And since then, it has gone all the way to the South Carolina, North Carolina border. You notice it's bringing in all this moisture here off the Atlantic, and a lot of the trajectory of this is going southeast to northwest. So that's why a lot of the heavy rain is going to stay just southwest of Richmond. Here's the forecast track from National Hurricane Center. It'll go out by I-81 late tonight and tomorrow, and then quickly move away from our area later tomorrow and into the upcoming weekend. But there's the center there just near Charlotte that's spinning around there and it's going to continue to bring in these batches of rain from the south and east. Now when we get these winds pulling this rain in like this and it hits the ground, we get once it hits get a little bit of friction, we get these little isolated spin up cells. So there is the potential for a few isolated tornadoes. We've had that issue already across North Carolina. In fact, there's a brand new tornado warning for Rocky Mountain. I think it's the second or third one so far this morning into the midday hour. So definitely cells that we have have to watch here and this one that's southwest of Chase City is watching that on radar a little while ago. We had like for a minute or two, a couple pixels on radar showed a little bit of brief rotation. So these cells definitely need to be watched. In some cases, these may spin up in the matter of a couple minutes and go away after a few minutes, but again, enough to create some damage.